Setting up an Asana productivity workflow can seem pretty overwhelming, especially when you're just getting started with the software. In this video, I'm gonna break it down into five easy to follow steps so you can have an effective productivity workflow. This will help you get more done in less time without all the tech overwhelm. So let's get into it. The first step is to go and create a new Asana project. Start off on the Asana homepage in the project section and click on create project. Then click on blank project. Add the project name in the top and then click on board view. Once that is set, click on create project. From there, Asana is going to make a new project for you. This project is going to start off as a blank slate and we're going to build everything out from scratch so that you can customize it to be your own as you go. Step two is to create your sections. Now Asana can work in a few different views. You can work in the list view where everything is listed vertically in one list, or in this case, you're gonna use the board view, which is a Kanban style. If you don't know what the Kanban method is, I'll bring up a graphic. Essentially, you start with the tasks, projects, and ideas on the left column, and the goal is to move them to the right column, with each column being a part of your workflow. You can keep it simple like this one with the workflow shown, or you can customize it with all of your own steps within your own workflow. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna use these five main sections to start off the basic workflow. So let's go ahead and add these sections in, and I'll break down how this workflow works. The first section is ideas, and that's where where your ideas go. The second section is to do, and that's where you're going to put all the things you decide to do. The third section is doing, and that's where things you are currently engaging with go. The fourth section is waiting on, and that's where things you're waiting on from others go. The fifth section is done, and that's where things you've completed or finished go. As you can see, five very simple and easy to understand sections. Step three is to brain dump the work you need to do. And now is the time to clear your head of everything from ideas to tasks and projects and get them all out of your head and into the Asana software. Now I'm gonna fast forward and dump all of my tasks and projects into the ideas section. Once that is done, you can actually decide on what you want to do. Now drag over a few cards from the ideas section to the to-do section. Once this is done, you can decide on what projects and tasks you want to start now. Once you've decided on those items, drag them from the to-do section to the doing section. And this is the start of the workflow. As you complete tasks, check them off with the green circle and then drag them into the done section. Now let's talk about the waiting on section. This is where items that you're waiting on from other people to complete go. For example, if you're waiting on a quote from a company or maybe you're waiting on approval from a coworker, maybe you're waiting on an item to be delivered or waiting on a payment or invoice, all of these would go in here. It's very important to separate the things that you can't currently do off the to-do section. Step four is to set deadlines. Now we all have deadlines we have to meet and keep track of, and Asana is the perfect solution for that. To add a due date, you can hover over the tasks that you want to add a due date to, and then click on the calendar icon. From there, click on the date that you want it to be due, and then click back into the board. From there, Asana will add a due date to the tasks and you can see the due date is on the front of the card itself. I love this feature because it keeps all of your dates top of mind. So I'll go ahead and fast forward and add all the due dates to all of my cards. One quick view that is very useful when it comes to seeing all of your due dates is the calendar view. So let's go ahead and click on the calendar view. On the top menu, you can see the calendar button. Click on that and Asana will pull up the calendar for this project. Now, you can see all of the cards and dates in chronological order. Now, this is my favorite view when planning the week because I can see all of my tasks and items coming up. The great part about this view is that if you click on a card and drag it into another day on the calendar, it will automatically change the due date within the card. Now go back to the top menu on the right dropdown and select month view to switch it to see the entire month at a glance. This view can be extremely helpful when planning in the long term. Step five is get work done. Move tasks from the to do section to the doing section and get to work. You can click into any card and customize the entire card with subtasks, attachments. You can assign it to other members and customize it with tags. Once the task is finished or complete, drag it into the done section. You can also hover the cursor over the circle icon on the front of the card and you can check the task off as done. As you can see, the check mark will turn green. 
From there, you can reload your doing list with the next tasks and items that you want to work on. Now, I wanted to throw in one last bonus tip in here, and the bonus tip is to download the Asana app on your smartphone so you can take work on the go. A lot of work we do or inspiration we have doesn't always happen at our desk. Download the Asana app so you can stay connected with your productivity system in real time, no matter where you are. So this is how you can build a basic Asana productivity workflow. It's easy, it's fast, and it will increase your productivity. If you're looking to fully integrate Asana into your business, I have a free workshop and PDF linked in the description below. So if you're looking to really optimize your Asana setup, I've also created this playlist with my best Asana tips and workflows. I also have an Asana course and templates listed in the description below, but until next time, stay productive.